Ahsoka Tano's iconic white lightsabers could be a strong indicator that she received additional techniques and training beyond Anakin Skywalker. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Ahsoka Tano's white lightsabers indicate that she may have had a secret teacher beyond Anakin Skywalker. Ahsoka purified her lightsabers using a technique known to the Falanasi, a group of Force-sensitive women who aided the Jedi against the Scythe in the ancient past. It is speculated that Ahsoka learned the purification technique during the Dark Times, filling in a notable gap in her history. Based on her dual white lightsabers, Ahsoka Tano may have had another teacher besides her master Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars canon. As seen in both Star Wars Rebels and the live-action Ahsoka series, Ahsoka's white lightsabers are the result of a special and rare force technique. This speaks to an unknown period in Ahsoka's life when she might have received additional teaching beyond the Jedi Order. Having left the Jedi Order just before the end of the Clone Wars, Ahsoka survived the events of Order 66 and lived on into the Dark Times where she played a crucial role in the origins of the Rebellion. It was also during this time when she first wielded her new white-colored lightsabers. As seen in the established Star Wars canon and timeline, the white color comes from Kyber that has been purified of previous corruption, and the techniques involved suggest Ahsoka may have had a secret teacher in Star Wars beyond Anakin Skywalker. In the established Star Wars canon, Ahsoka's white lightsabers have rather impressive origins. During the Clone Wars, Ahsoka wielded two green lightsabers, which were later modified by Anakin Skywalker to blue as seen in the animated series final season. However, Ahsoka left her weapons behind in the aftermath of Order 66 and the Clone Wars end. However, Ahsoka gained her new lightsabers and kyber crystals after facing the Sixth Brother, an Imperial Inquisitor sent to hunt down and eliminate any surviving Jedi. Defeating the Sixth Brother, it's been confirmed that Ahsoka used the Force to purify the Kyber from the Inquisitor's double-bladed lightsaber, healing them of the dark side's corruption that had made the Kyber bleed red. However, it's never been revealed how Ahsoka knew how to purify Kyber in the first place. After all, it's not a Force technique that was common among the Jedi Order. The art of kyber crystal purification comes from the Falanasi, a group of Force-sensitive women who developed the technique and aided the Jedi during their wars with the Sith Empire, healing red kyber crystals of their corruption and darkness in the aftermath. While the Jedi did have recordings that spoke of the Falanasi technique, the implication has been that it wasn't a practice the Jedi were skilled at themselves, let alone taught to their students. Interestingly enough, more about the Falanasi and their skills are being uncovered in the current Star Wars comics, set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Having come into possession of a red kyber crystal, Luke Skywalker has been seeking the help of two Falanasi women, some of the last to exist during the days of the Empire. As such, Luke has been learning how to purify the crystal's darkness, hoping that the experience will help prepare him to eventually try and redeem his father, Darth Vader, from his own darkness. To that end, the mystery behind how Ahsoka was able to purify her own kyber crystals in the aftermath of the Clone Wars could be answered with the theory that she might have found a member of the Falanasi herself. There are definite gaps in Ahsoka's history, and this includes her time surviving the Empire's reign, before she became fulcrum with the Rebellion. As such, perhaps Ahsoka learned new Force techniques from a member of the Falanasi who agreed to teach her, including how to purify Kyber. Ahsoka having a Falanasi teacher during the Dark Times after Anakin Skywalker would certainly help explain the origins of her white lightsabers during the Dark Times. While it's ultimately just conjecture, it does open the door for more stories to be told about Ahsoka Tano's past. Although exploring her time during the New Republic 
with her own apprentice, Sabine Wren, as seen in Ahsoka is exciting. There's clearly plenty of room for her history to be explored further in the Star Wars canon.